It's the world. I'm in PE world. The last college basketball game. Now, if y'all don't know, there ain't been a good college basketball game in a long time. I don't know when we're ever going to get one, yo. It's been been such a long time, but I'm here to reminisce, so let's get into it. College Hoops 2K8 is what I consider to be the greatest college basketball game ever made. And while it was 2K's final College Hoops game, it wasn't actually the last college basketball game. EA's NCAA Basketball 10 was actually the last college basketball game. And while it didn't have... That was actually a good game, too. Uh, EA Sports made great college basketball games, too, bro. And they had the atmosphere right, like with the crowd, the stadium, and all of that shit, bro. All of that was on point. Gameplay close to as good as 2K8's, the game's presentation blew 2K's away. And the Dynasty mode I just was said incredibly it. deep as well. Gameplay wasn't bad, as it was very similar to NBA Live 10, the last great NBA Live game. But when compared side by side Ooh. to 2K8, it doesn't exactly hold up. NCAA Basketball 10 wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. It was an above average game with some great highlights. And it was the last college basketball game ever made. Before we go any further, let me tell you. Go ahead. Get a little past that. Shout out to HelloFresh, though. You know what I'm saying? And I had that shit before. Damn, bro. That's like three minutes, two minutes of an ad, bro. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Damn! The best part of this game, bar none, was the presentation. EA got the CBS and ESPN license. Nice. So some games had the ESPN scoreboard and commentary team, while others had the... 2K? Why don't y'all put y'all bag up? Please. If you, pay, if you took the time to pay for the CBS and the ESPN license so that you can make this presentation look realistic, why can't y'all take all this money that y'all are taking from us on NBA 2K and make a fucking football game. You will blow Madden out of the water. Please. Please figure something out, yo. CBS scoreboard and commentary team. That was just awesome. Dick Vitale and Gus Johnson rotate as play-by-play -play commentators. And Crazy. Play the tale is iconic, and everybody loves Gus Johnson and his enthusiasm. Hit a game winner, and Johnson goes ballistic. It's thrilling. The stat overlays mimic real life and give the game a very realistic touch. This is probably the best presentation ever in a sports game. I wish modern day sports games used presentation like this. While 2K21 has two commentary teams, I'd like to see more games do what MLB The Show does and use different broadcast packages. Different I like MLB to show a lot, yeah. And differentiate games from prime it's a fun ass game. Regular games. Presentation is a huge part of making sports games immersive, and NCAA Basketball 10 nailed it, resulting in one of the most authentic sports experiences ever. In terms of gameplay, this game is basically a skinned NBA Live 10. If you remember from my NBA Live, NBA video, Live. I mentioned that this was the year Mike Wang left 2K to come and try and make NBA Live competitive again. And it worked. Live 10 was the best live since the PlayStation 2 era. NCAA 10 takes that gameplay and adds college arenas and oh, okay, and fight you, songs, delivering that college feel. There were a ton of unique motion sets to work with simply by holding down the left trigger. They made gameplay extra fluid, with lots of screens and quick passes along with icons telling you who is open to help run the perfect play. It takes a bit of practice to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, the result is a very intuitive and strategic game of basketball. Running your offense through the high post or finding a spot up shooter and timing the pass perfectly resulting in him nailing a three is some of the most fun you can have in a sports game. It's rewarding. And yet while the gameplay was an improvement, it had some issues. AI would call for passes out of bounds, make dumb decisions often, and would shoot the same shot in the post nearly every possession. In court awareness basically didn't exist. After playing the game for a while, AIs. issues become more and more clear. Luckily, the game has an awesome dynasty mode. And while the recruiting isn't on the same level as 2K8's, it's still really good. You can track player progression, improve your school's facilities, and a cool new touch added to this game was the top 20 places to play edition. 
If you enter one of these top 20 arenas, you'll feel just how loud and energized the crowd is. That's hard. The better your team plays, the more you'll move up. And eventually, you can make it into the top 20 and have a legit home court advantage. Oh, that's hard. Despite the gameplay issues, NCAA they really about the college atmosphere in there. This amazing immersion to it. You feel like you're actually there, physically, playing the game. Is this game overrated? Maybe. It has fantastic elements. What the fuck was that? But the AI holds it back from being a truly great game. There's a reason 2K8 is so highly regarded, despite being two years older. That said, the presentation in this game is basically the greatest we've ever seen, and really helps bring the sport to life. People miss college sports games. Yeah, we do. The last college basketball game ever results in many people holding it in high esteem. I understand that fully. The game does not feature a ton of game modes or anything groundbreaking, and there really isn't too much to talk about here. But it was solid and is worth checking out, as it was in fact the last college basketball game ever made. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, let me know what y'all think. What was y'all favorite college basketball game, man? I was a huge fan of the EA Sports one, but, you know, these 2K ones were, were pretty dope, man. I might have to check out that 2K8. Let me know what in the world I should react to next. Until next time, it's the world.